Good afternoon, folks. This is part two of the examination we began yesterday afternoon, the electric weather tidbit that they should have never let out of the bag, at least not if they plan to keep their climate narrative going. Hopefully you caught the first video, and yes, they really messed up. Not only is it a mistake to perform weather modification, but this version of it blows gaping holes in their narrative and reveals the truth about what impacts the atmosphere and where our future is heading. To quickly review, they are moving towards electric shock therapy for clouds. Funny thing to say, but it's true. They figured out that amplifying the electrical state of water vapor in the atmosphere is more likely to make it rain. The problem for them is that this is the electrical state most impacted by the sun and cosmic rays, and they keep wanting you to believe that those things have no impact on weather and climate. Oops. Turns out those hundreds of studies on solar forcing of precipitation and other weather conditions, which they keep sweeping under the rug, are actually true. Heck, we just learned about an unexpectedly strong impact of a solar storm that propagated downward into the lower atmosphere through the global electric circuit and electrodynamic coupling. What did that do to the weather? This not only stamps the point we made in part one, but it helps take it further, because like so many of these unexpected solar storms recently, they are caused by Earth's weakening magnetic field, tied to the magnetic pole shift, letting in more of that solar energy. That means that this paradigm of truth in solar forcing is also becoming more and more extreme and profound by the day as the magnetic pole shift. Let's remember that space energy introduced to Earth has a 2 to 5x amplification effect on atmospheric parameters, so the 60 to 200% increase in net space energy expected during this magnetic pole shift will cause a 120 to 1000% increase in the atmospheric effects from it. Now translate that to more heat, more cold, more floods, more storm energy, and more droughts. This is bigger than most of you realize, not just for the reality of solar forcing of the atmosphere and the failure of the mainstream narrative of global temperatures, but for what's happening to our planet's magnetic shield against that energy from space. There is no tax that can get us out of this one. No amount of clever wordplay to undo what those weather modifiers have now proven to be true. There is only continued fibbing from powerful players and the rubes who believe it, versus those with the eyes to see. Do you see? I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be sure to subscribe and be safe, everyone.